Well, g'day guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, we are back here at Tiny3. Um, so we're down here at the development block and Tiny3 and Tiny1, which is at the other main farm, are both going to be getting um, trucked to a job um, that they're going to be on for about two or three weeks. But before that happens, I've finally got the right compressor. Um, so yes, the wrong compressor was supplied first up. So this one's the right one. I've got the gas. Now I am licensed to um, handle this gas, so there's no worries there. Um, but what we've got and what we're gonna do, and I'll sort of talk through it as I'm doing it, but we've got flush. Um, we're gonna flush out the system. So there's the flush gun um, in there as well. And I've got vac pumps. And I'm actually gonna, this is probably gonna be the first time I'll try a vac pump. Um, it's a, well, it is a Makita one, but we don't run Makita batteries on the workshop. So I got an adapter from the internet. Um, so I can run Milwaukee batteries um, on this, but um, yeah, I'm going to give that a try, see how it goes. Um, it'll just be nice not having to run a generator, um, yeah, for half an hour or so while the other vac pump um, runs. But I've got that here just in case. But I've got a new belt to go on, so that's there. Um, got a compressor, which is there, and. Um, yes, I do have to put a bit of oil, they, they do come with oil, but I've got to put a little bit more in there because I'm going to be flushing the whole system. Um, we've got the receiver dryer, that should be good to go, and the TX valve in here, once I can open it, so that is the TX valve in there. So basically, I don't know the history of this um, dozer because we haven't used it in summer, with the air conditioning um, so we're just going right through I think it was sitting for quite a while um, and with any air conditioning system if it's sitting for quite a while and not being used a lot of seals and stuff dry out so um, yeah that's why we're replacing the compressor um, the tax valve's got some issues I'm sure and um, yeah we're going to give it just a full system flush and start again um, and that way I know exactly what we got um, and it should should all work fine after that so I'm going to get into that. It'll probably be a sort of more time-lapse stuff, but as I'm doing different bits and pieces, I'll explain it as I go along. So all the gas is out. Um, I did run a bit of uh, high chill gas in it, which isn't restricted. So there's no issues with letting the, that gas out. Um, so it's all out. Um, I did that the other day, as well as I just wanted to make sure all the parts were right. So I've sort of half started. But um, what I've got to do first is flush it. Well, so basically I can pull the receiver dryer out. We're not using that. Um, and I'll undo all the ends of the hoses. So at the condenser, I've got to undo them um, so I can just flush each line out individually. Um, yeah, and that way, um, yeah, that way it'll be a fresh start for the old girl. Um, the other thing of interest is um, a lot of mining gear um, and that use quick couplers for the receiver dryer. Yeah, I don't really need that now. Just it's another thing that can leak. So I might actually just get rid of that and um, and just hook the fitting straight up to the end there. Um, but anyway, I still got to decide about that. What exactly I want to do there. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, we'll get into it. Well, this is the fun bit. Gotta try and get down here without oh, hurting myself too much. Um, 
So, I'm still just pulling all the hoses off because I want to just flush everything first before I get too carried away. Um, so yes, the other the other day I did start pulling this all apart. So got this apart so I can get the belt off and um, yeah, it should make it a bit easier. So there's actually three hoses on the back of this one. Um, that's because this one here, this hose is um, only used as a service access hose or it's a, so you can access the um, low side um, up near where the other port is. So um, yeah, I probably will flush that one out as well just to be extra safe. But um, yeah, these two are the main ones. That's your low side and that's your high side there. So once I get these undone, um, I'll get the flush tank and I'll probably flush just the condenser and a couple other hoses um, and I'll record that. Um, but yeah, just uh, it, there's probably five or six hoses. I don't know how many there are actually, but I'll um, yeah, I'll only just record one to show you what it is actually about. Um, and then I'll just get into and get, get stuck into getting the rest of it all flushed out. Um, yeah, and then I'll just be replacing the compressor and the TX valve and then you do the receiver dryer last because you don't want to open it up um, to the atmosphere because it'll absorb all the moisture. So um, yes, yeah, so you've got to make sure you do that one last. Right, so there's a bit of a mess here, but what we have is the flush gun. So what we want to do is just crack that off. Put that there, and we want to put. You can put usually you can put half um, or half fill it to, with flush or whatever. It depends how much flush you're wanting to put through. I don't want to do a heap, so I'm probably only going to fill it up maybe a quarter. Um, I'll probably do the condenser first, so you do want a bit of volume going through that. Good. And basically, I'll fire up the compressor, hook an airline to this end, and then you just flush it through. So this other end of the flush gun, it's got a rubber tip on it, so you can, um, yeah, just push that up against the opening of the hoses and seal them, and um, and that's how you you do that. So I'm actually backwards flushing this, so that's why I'm going from the bottom. There we go. That's what you do for the whole, all the different aircon lines. Now sometimes what it is good to do is get a clean white rag um, and then you can see any little metal shavings or particles that might be in the system um, and to see how dirty it is. But um, this system was working, it was just low on gas so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned that there'll be metal in the system. the evaporator um, but as much as you can 
you want to try and reverse flush it. Um, so that's why I'm going from the compressor and flushing it this way. So that, uh, that's the reason for that. So hopefully the camera doesn't get too wet. Well, now the system is flushed, I'm just going to pull all the O-rings off and if you're unsure, it's always good to put them side by side, make sure it's the right one Then you get a bit of refrigerant spray on it Pop them back on As easy as that. Same with this one. And then, so yes, yeah, so I've got to fit this TX valve. There'll be a bit of fiddling around with that, and then the compressor, obviously. And um, then we should be right to vac it down. Well, we're back down in the hellhole here, got the tax valve done, got it hooked all up at the front. I just got to pull this old compressor out and put the new one in, put a new belt on, and um, then the receiver dryer in, then that should be it. to vac it down. I've got Dad over there making a bit of noise. Are you trying to scare the birds away? Is the, the flashing light not working? Not in the daytime it doesn't, but at night it does. It keeps them out, stops them roosting at night. Good. Yeah. I suppose they've got to sit somewhere. Just don't want to <laughs> Well, it is a nice shed to sit in. Uh, so, Josiah was on the rock picker, but a wheel fell off it, so that might be in another episode. Hopefully, that all works. So, that there goes like that. And that goes like that. Oil level's good.
where we're taught. There's the on switch. <laughs> Well, I've got to go back to the old one because I think that fitting is just a slightly different one. So I can't get it to seal properly. So, um, yeah, we're going to go old school. It'll be a bit quicker this one anyway too, so that'll be good. Well, we're back in the hellhole here. Um, I've got that all on back. Um, yeah, annoyingly that Jolly Makita one had a wrong fitting, so I really wanted to test that out. but. It was probably going to take a bit too long anyway because it wouldn't have uh, pulled it down and got a full vacuum very quickly anyway but um so anyway we've got to put up with the noise for half hour or so but while that's happening um i'm gonna put together all the shrouds and bits and pieces in here so um, also while i've got joe size help so um yeah we'll try and get this all all back together i've got to put this shaft back on and then there's all shrouds that go all over this so hopefully I don't need to come back here. Now is the fun bit. Um, well, I've just had it sitting there on vac for a bit and looks okay. These gauges are a bit, I've, I do have new gauges coming, but um, yes, we'll just have to make do with these for the minute. So we'll see, see how we go. So we'll just let it suck as much as it can in. We need two and a half kilos, so it'll take a while to go all the way through. And um, yeah, then I think I'll be ready to fire it up and test it. Righto, it's time to fire it up. is to feel the uh, hoses as they come in and out of the evaporator. So that's a really cold hose there, so that's good. I wasn't getting that the other day. So I think we're having a win.
good. Hopefully that keeps Brad happy. Well, I think that'll be it for the minute. We'll see what happens over the next couple of days. Oh.